Recently, I stumbled across a YouTube video where someone was starting a PlayStation Vita collection by going around conventions with a budget, and this kind of got me thinking about the physical side of collecting for the PlayStation Vita. In the past, I remember seeing quite a few people going for a full physical set, but nowadays that's fairly uncommon. It seems like most people are going the route of modding their handheld and then playing everything digitally, which makes a lot of sense considering how easy it is to mod and play any game for free. But there's still are people who want to go the route of physical collecting for the Vita and that's what this video is going to discuss because I think some people jump into collecting the system without fully knowing what it entails so in this video I'm going to go quickly over two key things that you need to consider when collecting for the PlayStation Vita. So the first thing that you need to consider when collecting for the Vita is its pricing. Now for anyone who has looked at Vita game prices on eBay this probably won't come as a shocker but it's still something you need to seriously consider because the PS Vita's game prices are pretty high for a system that isn't really that old. Put simply, the PS Vita is expensive because of its rarity, and companies like Strictly Limited and Limited Run have definitely also raised a lot of the pricing, as the Vita games they produced were often in small batches and they flew under the radar for a lot of people, meaning tons of them ended up in the hands of scalpers and resellers who began listing them for double the price if not more. Which isn't great when you consider that COVID-19 increased prices along with PlayStation when they announced that they'd be closing the Vita store on August 27th of 2021. Now granted PlayStation did end up going back on that decision after massive backlash yet the damage had already been done as there was a large spike in the market which eventually drove up a lot of pricing. Now fast forward to 2024 and that large increase in the market has somewhat remained as overall average pricing hasn't really dropped much which isn't great if you are just starting out because because I don't think many people can afford to pay the game prices that the PS Vita demands. And not to get too off topic, but I look at the GameCube collecting and I see how many great games can still be bought for $10 US complete in case, and I just can't say the same for the Vita. Yes there are some great titles that could be had for cheap, but overall most Vita games are going to run you a pretty penny if you can even find them. And that actually leads me into my second thing when collecting for the PS Vita, which is a availability. The PlayStation Vita did not sell well and therefore not many games came to market. Truth be told, most of the physical games that released ended up coming from third party publishers who sold their games solely online with a set limited quantity, creating this weird ecosystem where buyers had to purchase directly from the publisher online or otherwise would be forced into buying a second hand copy where they likely had to pay a markup, making a lot of limited release games much more uncommon to find because of how rare they were. And while yes you can find physical Vita games at stores and conventions, the Vita games you are finding tend to be common first party titles that ended up being sold at retail while the vast majority of the Vita's library is nowhere to be seen physically. The amount of limited run games that I've personally found in the wild is very slim and a lot of my collection has come from people I've found online through Facebook marketplace and groups. And that for some people can really take them out of the hobby because they now lose the ability to find games in the wild, and when they do, the prices are often marked up, locking out a large portion of buyers who would rather collect games that are readily available for much lower prices, meaning if you're wanting to collect PS Vita games, you basically have to be content with shopping online and then paying a pretty penny. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here because I don't want it to turn into a rant, but instead provide some informative insight when it comes to physically collecting PS Vita games. I'm sure that there are people who disagree with me, and if you live in a populated area then PS Vita games are probably much easier to come by but for me specifically PS Vita games are far and few between in the land of Canada which sucks but what can you do. Still if you do collect PS Vita games physically please let me know what tips or pieces of information you give to someone just starting out and well with all that said I just want to say thank you for watching all the way into the end please subscribe if you like my content and I will see you later. Bye.